everyone welcome to heavy metal today we got a new to me rifle to check out uh, this was sent to us by gun prime so a big shout out to them appreciate it uh, this is the savage model 62 and it's chambered in 22 long rifle uh, pretty cool looking little old rifle uh, hopefully it's a glurp hopefully it's a great plinker we're going to take it out to the range and test drive it some and see what it's made of. But uh, let me bring you in a little bit closer and show you the features of this and get you a good look at it. You see it is a magazine fed. I'm assuming that's a 10 round mag. We'll find out when we get out there. And I have already checked this. The rifle is clear. No stress. But as you can see there's the mag release. There's your little charging handle right there. Your safety. Uh, this one does not have the accu trigger, but it does have a good little trigger pull to it when I just checked it there. Uh, it did come with a Marska scope already on it, but uh, I don't know if it happened during shipping or whatever. It was very loose on there. So I'm going to do uh, my first uh, test and review just using the basic iron sights. You see what they look like, got a nice little post sight up front. And then your basic 22 sight back here with your, I call it an elevator strip. I don't know what the technical term is, but that's what I call it. But uh, just a good old fashioned setup, and it's worked well for the past million years. Uh, synthetic stock, this thing's pretty lightweight. Uh, pretty good looking little old rifle. I do really like the bluing on that barrel. Hopefully the light's good enough in there. Y'all see that good? I'll give you another look when we get outside. Yeah, I mean, uh, good looking. Uh, seems to be quality built. Little rifle. Uh, we'll know more when we get it out there. But just at first glance, I mean, I like what I see. Well, there's a good quick glance at it. And uh, like I say, right off the bat, doesn't look bad at all. But we'll know more. Let's get it out here on the range and test drive it a little bit and see what we think. Alright, made it out to the range with a little Savage uh, 62, Model 62. 22 long rifle only. So, don't be shooting no longs or shorts or anything like that out of it. Let's see, uh, first off, how many of this mag holds. I've got some of this 40 grain uh, Ely ammo. Uh, this stuff is run well in pretty much everything I've had. So we're going to see how it runs in this little rifle. Ten of them. It's bringing it back down to here. So I'm guessing this is a ten round magazine. Yeah. Ten's all she wants, guys. And that's fine. Alright, magazine good. Let's grab some ears here. First thing I'm going to do, you can see how close these sights are. Uh, right out there at 10 yards, if y'all can see it, I've got a close-up cam. There's that little blue square target thing. I'm going to see if I can get a nice little group on that with about four or five shots. Alright, let's see what we got here. See how she chambers? Alright, safety's off. It's Seems like it chambered pretty good. She is on safe. Well, it cycled fine. Uh, as far as the groove goes, from here I can't see it. Sneak it over to the close-up cam. That don't look too bad for just some offhand sort of quick shooting. Alright, let's go out here and play on some of this steel 
at some further distances. Alright, well like I say, that was uh, 10 yards at first. There we go. Safety's off. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get a pig today. And we had a problem. got a den in it, but it didn't go off. Let's try it again. Huh. This alley is usually uh, pretty good ammo. messing up in this gun. Let's go for the bear. And the alien. Failure to eject. And that was the last round. Fill her up again. The guys, I ain't gonna sit here and knock this rifle just because I had a couple of issues. He could not like this ammo. And I don't think I brought any more different ammo out. I'll check my bag here in just a minute. Let me go ahead and fill up this magazine. And yeah, I'll go ahead and check my bag, see if I got any different ammo as well. Alright, got the bag full again. I did not have any more ammo out here or any different brand ammo or what have you. But let's just uh, give her a try and see. Ran them three just fine. Let's go out there to uh, 20 yards. Ran that mag fine without no problem. Cool, cool. Well, we could have just had a couple of bad shells. I mean, that happens, you know, when you're doing center fires. I don't care who you are or what ammo you got. I think every once in a while you're going to just come across some bad shells. I don't know why I just don't dump these out here. Make it a lot easier, wouldn't it? Mag load's pretty easy. It does not uh, have a pull-down tab like a lot of 22s, but it's a, like a cast metal type of mag. At least it doesn't feel all plasticky and flimsy and cheap. I mean, it does feel like it's, you know, pretty good quality and it's pretty solid. And it seems to be doing fine. Alright, there's 10 more, I do believe. I do want to get a speed shoot on this. But first of all, you see how easy we were tagging all of these? We'll take his iron sights and run up there to 55 yards. That's in green primo targets, a silhouette and around. And see if we can tap on them a little bit. Alright, let's run up there and uh, see if we take his factory sights and see the ammo and tag at 55 yards. No problem. Let's see if we need that smaller round one. Oh yeah, that thing is no problem whatsoever. Oh, a dueling tree. Bet he won't move it. it a little bit. I didn't think 22s would move that dueling tree a whole lot, but 
this thing is just so easy to shoot. And them little iron sights are on. I mean on. Let's get us uh, another mag here because I want to do a rapid fire. I mean, so far she's running great. Had a few hiccups there on that first magazine. Now, who knows, could have some trash or something in it and I just didn't see it. Uh, but yeah, uh, no problem. Hitting the 10 yards, 20 yards, and then stretching out to 55 yards. Uh, very, very easy little rifle to shoot. Good trigger. Uh, I'd like to say it's not heavy. Of course, it has no recoil whatsoever. And the sights, even though they're just all black, I reckon because it's a pretty day out here, I'm picking them up real easy and I'm not having no issues with them. There we go, put these others back. I'll shoot some more 22 later on. Alright guys, let's uh, quote machine gun this thing and just see uh, if it'll run all 10 of them as fast as I can pull the trigger. Well, that's a bummer. I'm sitting there bragging on how well it's doing, and then it doesn't. Let me get that one back in there. I think it'll go. Uh, life over 22, I reckon. Uh, make sure that safety's all the way forward. Maybe that's what got me. Y'all, I could stand out here and do that all day long. Uh, fast shooting that, I mean, it was there. I do believe I stayed on target the whole time. Just a very nice little rifle. Fun shooter. And uh, like I say, maybe it don't like to see the ammo so much. Or uh, something along them lines. Like I say, the gun was just sent, and all I did was unbox it, took it out here, and started shooting it. So, uh, I am assuming this is a used rifle. It probably needs a good clean and oil. It does look really dry in there. And that's probably the issues that we were having with the few hang-up problems that we did have. But all in all, I like that little rifle. It's a fun shooter. It'll stretch out there. The accuracy seems pretty good on it. Um, maybe we'll put that scope on there sometime and get it sighted in. And get on back there, you know, do some 100-yard shots or something like that with it. Y'all throw down in the comments what you'd like to see us do with it, and uh, I'll try it out. Well, everyone, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Y'all know I enjoyed shooting it. That was fun. If you would, throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able... Hit us up on Patreon, and please like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.